my 30 day commitment is to continue uh, delivering the passion that I have for what I'm doing right now for uh, our members out there. I've been in radio and uh, one of the things that um, Jim mentioned and Randy is that you have to you know, become a character and I always respect our member, our prospect, and uh, I try to stay in the level, you know, that they approach me to. So one of the things that I'm going to work on uh, in, in, in these 30 days is to keep the survey brief because when I started with NFIB, my biggest problem was that I used to talk a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it was like I was getting the microphone, you know, in the booth and just blah, 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 talking about, you know, the issues, and then that's where the passion comes in. But now I'm just gonna keep it brief, quickly, and get those members back to work, you know, for their business. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue planning and use and abuse Exego to get more sales uh, for the week and keep my average, average sale high. So thank you, it was a pleasure to meet you all. And uh, thank you, Randy, um, Nancy, and Jim. Thank you. And if you ever want to get in touch with me, just find my email. Thank you. <laughs>
Randy said, you know, it's sometimes you dedicate yourself for a long time uh, in, a, in a different career or, you know, whatever you're doing. Like Glow, she used to have a radio station. I used to work for our radio station. And then you think that is there's something else out there that I could do? Randy found it with NFIB. And I know he's a go-getter. We're all here for the money. That's the reality. But we're not going to make any money if we sit around and not work you know, on our habits. No one's going to come and knock on your door and say, I want to be a member. If you're not out there, you're not going to make any money. And when I saw that calculator, I'm doing business, new business right now, I just can't wait to start doing renewals. Because I was making money in media. But now my children need me. And if I want to spend time with them, I want to be eight or 10 hours working early morning. By the time they get home from school, I'll be there cooking their meal watching TV, doing homework or whatever. And we all have a family or a significant other, and we all want to be there. And if you can't provide for them a better life, then it's on you. It's you. It's you that have to do it. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you all.